Now, you've been to Cardiff before. You were in Doctor Who in the first series. Well, I kind of, to me, it was more daunting than when I first started at Granada because working, um, Christopher Eccleston played the Doctor in the first of the new series. Series, yeah. And he's, you know, he's one of, you know, he's one of my idols, really. So, um, you know, working with him, I was just watching him and trying to learn a few things. But, um, I, yeah, I was in Cardiff, um, I think it was the end of 2004, um, round about Christmas time, so I was uh, in Cardiff for a, a month and a half, and I absolutely loved it. I had a great time. Do you wish that your character would have maybe stayed on in the TARDIS a little bit longer? Um, I guess it would have been fun to stay for a couple more apps, but, um, you know, it's up to the writers. I just, <laughs> I have to say what they put in front of me. <laughs> I'd love to have stayed, but, you know. Were you a fan of Doctor Who when you were younger? When I was growing up, it wasn't really on, was it? <laughs> I, I grew up in the, like, the late 80s, and was, was it still I think on? it finished in 89, to be fair, and then there was lots of repeats and videos exactly, and DVDs, yeah. so if but you weren't into it... Yeah, by the time I was watching programmes and stuff, it could have, probably would have just gone off. <laughs> but I knew how people loved the show, and they still do, and it's got lots more fans um, this time around as well. And do you get invited to conventions and, and book signings and sci-fi <laughs> memorabilia <laughs> events as Adam from Doctor Who? Yeah, I've done, I've done a couple of these things, and it's, um, they're, they're fun, they're very interesting, and you get to meet some of the, the weird and, and wonderful fans of um, Doctor Who. They're very, <laughs> they're very, yeah, they're very, very colourful people. fans. Yeah, definitely. They, um, yeah, they've definitely got their own thing going on. Now they're looking for a new Doctor, obviously that David Tennant has left. Would you, would you step up to the mark? Would you be the Doctor? Um, I think I'm a bit too young <laughs> by the Doctor. Actually, I, I don't, don't think. I think they want a, a leading man age, and I don't think. I don't think I'm quite there yet. <laughs> now, of course, leaving television behind, you're treading the boards at the Welsh Millennium Centre doing flash dance. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm um, starring in Flash Dance the musical, and uh, yeah, we're coming to um, we're coming to Cardiff very soon. And um, it's a new direction for me. I'm doing a bit of um, bit of singing, so um, yeah, it's all change. So tell me about your character. Who do you play? I play a character, I think my character's in the film, but I've got, there's a different name, he's got a different name in, in the musical version, I'm called Jimmy Kaminsky, mm -hmm. and he grew up with the main character, the main character's called Alex Owens, and uh, I grew up with her at the same school, but I've been to prison, I've got a bit of a drug problem, and I'm a bit of a bad seed, so um, he's not a nice guy, this guy. And do you get to do lots of dancing, or is he just singing? Hey, I can't dance to save my life. <laughs> and I've heard that you can't either. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm absolutely terrible. So, um, I didn't want to go to the audition because, uh, you know, being flash dance, I thought the clue was in the title. <laughs> but my agent said, go along anyway. So it turns out they had a part that uh, I didn't have to dance. So, um, I just sing and act, really. And who else is in it uh, with you? We have uh, Noel Sullivan, who used to be in that fabulous pop band Hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! And um, we have Bernie Nolan from The Nolans. Of course. Um, which she's very... I love Bernie. She's, um, she's a mother to us all. On, <laughs> um, and the main, um, the main girl who plays um, Alex Owens, uh, she's called Victoria Hamilton Barrett. And she's, um, she can sing, dance and act, so uh, there you go. And how long is the tour running for? We started the tour this June, or last June, and uh, it finishes in June '09, so it's a year tour. Wow! And um, we've been—we're basically going everywhere in the country. Wow! So where's next after Wales, after Cardiff? Do you know what? I'll have to ask my tour manager. <laughs> he sort, he sorts everything out for me. <laughs> well, don't worry about that because all we care about is the Wales Millennium Centre, exactly. so everybody in the local area can go and see. Bruno singing, not dancing. No, and moving, 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 <laughs> more of a mover. Moving with style. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> right, I've got some random questions now uh, okay. that people have sent in. Alan White asks, melons or marrows? Melons. Of course, fantastic. They have so many different connotations. Don't they? <laughs> I know, I know. Thomas Reese K uh, would like to know if you could travel anywhere in time and space, where would it be? Time and space. Mm. I would, um, I'd probably still stay on Earth, but I'd, um, I'd like to see what it's like in 200, 300 years time, see how technology's moved on. Oh, I'd better be fabulous in the future. It'd Flying be... Flying cars, hoverboards, like... Oh, hoverboards, future. yeah. I'd just go to wherever they, where, whatever point in time they have hoverboards. <laughs> <laughs> how would you like to, how do you like to spend your Friday nights? My, I used to spend my Friday nights going out and going clubbing and <laughs> doing stuff, but, but these days I'd, li I'd love to um, spend an evening with my son and then um, watch a movie. And would you listen to anything on the radio? And I'd listen to Carry On Fridays. Hey! <laughs> Excellent. I'm sorry it's such a short and sweet interview, but it has right. been amazing. What's next for Bruno Langley? Do you know what? I'm not sure. So, yeah, we finish in June 09 and then I'm going to... Um, 
I think I want to do some, um, like a nice big TV series of some sort. So um, I'll have to get my agent <laughs> onto it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shall keep my fingers crossed for you. And again, I will recommend to everybody that they go to the Welsh Millennium Centre to go and see Flashdance. It's on from the 10th of November to the 15th of November. And you miss it in Wales. You can always go and check it out up and down the country. Bruno, you've been fantastic and a wonderful guest. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, ringing in rather, I should say. My pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> and all the best, and break a leg for the show, and give my love to Bernie and to Noel as well. I'll give them big kisses. Ooh, ah, mwah, <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bruno Lagley! Hey. Well done, Pete. Thank you very, very nice. much. He was absolutely lovely to oh, speak to. Really, really nice guy. And I hope now that everyone will go out and check out Flashdance. When's it on? It is on between the 10th of November and the 15th of November at the Wales Millennium Centre. And it's going to be brilliant. Yes, sure it will. Now, we've still got lots to come, including Pants Anthem, uh, White Noise, and no doubt, after this. Why don't you get involved with